Well, this doesn't look sketchy at all. I think we can make it. Oh. Well, hello and welcome. We're actually uh, sitting inside of a 28 Regal here. This is a 2017. It's got a 5.3 direct injected Volvo Penta in it. That's what we're going to be working on here. We actually have to uh, open up the engine hatch and we'll get the, uh, well, I'll go get some tools and we'll get started here. So let's go. Well, we got her all opened up here. You can see we got her torn apart. Well, we might have some rain coming. It's already starting to sprinkle. It's all the way around us. I didn't bring all my tools just for that reason. We got our one tool we might need and a couple things I probably need to uh, get the tool to work. So let's take a look, see what we're doing. So last week, the end of the week, I ripped this apart real quick because we had a really strong fuel smell coming from this engine. We thought maybe it was this line right here, which is just our vent from our VST, because these can pour fuel out of them if the little float gets stuck, but that wasn't the case. So our fuel rails, because this is a direct injection motor here, they are underneath our intake. So we had to pull our intake off here. I pulled off the elbows. I was lucky enough to sneak this bracket that holds our computer and everything on, the ECU, out. I got this bolt right there of the coil just loose enough see how it's touching the uh, manifold there a lot of times you have to pull these manifolds if you're going to do any more extensive work in here but I was lucky enough to get it out of the way so we have our intake off and I found this injector right here leaking fuel out of it you have a really high pressure pump right here so as soon as you turn the key on actually we were getting gas coming out of this hole here so it's either leaking out of the injector side or the rail side could be one or the other so I attempted to make my own little puller and it broke right away so I'm going to cut that off I got the rest of the rail free on this side it all moves but this is stuck I'm sure this is uh, leaking because of all this corrosion see all the sand and crap it must have been dripping right in this spot because we've got no other leaky rail spots all these ones are good so we'll clean all this up after we get everything uh, apart here. But I couldn't get this out no matter what I did. So there's a special tool that I've been waiting for that I ordered. This guy right here. So here's our little puller piece. Pretty sure this sits on here. And then you put the hook in the bottom here. I gotta get this bolt out right here first. Well, that was perfect timing. Just started pouring. I got that seat down just in time. Got the tool hooked up, so we'll cut back to uh, when we get to pull on that rail. Hopefully that tool will work. All right, let's try this again. The rain has stopped. The rain just enough to annoy me. Get everything all wet. So let me open that back up. All right, so before the rain got me here, I got the tool pretty well oriented where I think it should be. I thought it went on here, but these don't come out. I tried to get them out by pulling them, but they're obviously sleeved into place because they just spin freely. So I pulled the bolt out of here, tighten this down. Now we got underneath is our hook. See there? And you just basically turn this guy. It should pull up. So let's see what it does without ruining anything pretty tight. I might have to put some leverage underneath it here too because we're kind of pulling at a, the wrong angle. Yeah, we seem to be just kind of bending this a lot. You can see it bending in the hole there. So now we got some leverage on it. Let me get to the other side here and I'll see if I can a little pry bar or something right here and get it underneath. All these seem to be free. You guys are all lifted up already in the back side here. I'm trying to find a spot to get underneath this without hurting anything. You know, they got a lot of tension on her. She don't seem to want to go. Alright, I'm going to try to put the puller on the other side. 
Let's cut my clamp off that I broke. There we go. Let's get that out of the way. So now, let's try to pull it from the other side. Maybe that'll help with leverage. We can get it over here. Might help, might not. Doesn't seem to want to get out of its hole there. It's definitely corroded in place. If I put some pressure on it this way, maybe I can pull on it this way and it'll pull itself out. Still not moving. This guy's tight too. Alright, so this thing's being stubborn. I pried on it. We got a lot of pressure on it right now still. So I'm going to spray a bunch of lubes all in the hole. We'll see if we can get it out. If not, I'm going to let it sit and soak. I might also try, you can't see in the camera, there's a bolt right there, that one, to uh, hook this puller to that bolt maybe and pull it more from the center here. But let me spray a bunch of crap down the hole real quick. There's basically two O-rings that seat inside of the head. And that's what's hanging up. They're really tight because it's direct injected and it has to handle the compression and fire and all that stuff. So not being in the intake, the tolerance is a lot tighter for sure. So there's a hole down there. We can soak this crap in. And hopefully we'll leave this pressure on there. And I'll wiggle it around here and we'll spray a little bit more. And don't pop. We're going to let it sit. All right, that stuff's soaking in. Let's just move it around. Maybe it'll help work its way into it. Yeah, she's really hung up. But I can see the bubbles. You see the bubbles down in the hole down there. So it's soaking in for sure. Let's spray some more in there and we'll let it soak and we'll come back to this. Hopefully, this will penetrate it enough to uh, free it up because it feels like I'm going to break something. Like I say though, that guy right there, that screw or that bolt might be the key here. So when we come back, we might swap it out for that one and see if we can pull it more from this angle of the injector here. So let's let her soak. Okay, so I was just doing some research and trying to figure out how I'm going to get this rail apart here. It looks like I was right. Those things do go in those holes above the rail. But you can't get the bolts out where that's supposed to go. They're pressed in with sleeves. They just slide and spin. And I tried pressing them, pulling them, whatever, but you can't, can't get them out. So, I was thinking, this is the injector here. We got a new one. Right here, it's stuck. These are where it's stuck in the head. It must be corrosion down this shaft here. But it is held on to the fuel rail from this piece right here, which basically slides over it. I'm going to go try to bend this and pop it off of this on the rail. And maybe the rail will come off the top and then the injector will be stuck in the head. I'll have some more leverage because it doesn't matter if I mess the injector up. I just don't want to mess the rail up. So. Let's go try that. Let's pull our uh, injector wire off here so we don't hurt that. Get that out of the way. No. There we go. Get it to slide. The head blocks it, but it might be enough to get it to bend out of the way. You can see I got it slid out of the way. See, they're supposed to be pressed against the block pretty much like that. I got it pushed out, but I'm going to see if I can turn it kind of towards the uh, back here and get it to spin. Look if we can get one ear then it pushes against the other side of course. Unless I can get that to bend really good. Let's try that and then I can push the other side out of the way. Looks like we might be close where we can get the fuel injector out of the hole. Okay, there we go. I felt that snap. Let's see. Look, you can see I got it disconnected. It's starting to move now. Now let's spin this tool around. We'll attempt to use the tool on the other side. See if we can pull it. 
Well, we got some tension on it. Let me try a pry bar the other side again. There she goes. Stupid clip. I got it. Stupid clip. Alright, let's get this out of the way. Well, there we go. We got her out of the hole here. But now she's still stuck in the head. I broke the little end off it here. This little piece is what was holding on here, this metal piece. So we'll try to pop this off and I'll try to get some pry bars underneath here. Hopefully this bastard will come out of here because she's definitely stuck. I'm not even moving here. It was only moving on the rail side here. It doesn't really matter if I break the injector. Oh, there she goes. Finally felt it. And it's in broken. It's so corroded that it broke off. Well, that's going to be fun. Well, so I'm hoping it doesn't fall in the hole here. But we got some gasket on the outside here. You can see all this corrosion and crap. I cleaned out what I could. Well, after all that struggle, we broke off this tip in the head there. I don't think it was going to come out of there anyways, looking at that corrosion in the hole there. Alright, well, after talking to the boss, we need to pull this head off, which we're not going to do right now, but the head's going to come off. So we can take a look at the other side of this and clean this up real good and make sure we don't need any servicing or you know, have to send it to a machine shop or something to redo this hole here So, because it could be pitted enough where it's going to keep leaking. So we're going to get this head off and then we'll come back to this project. Well, I hope you enjoy watching me struggle on this uh, injector rail here because that was a tough one. Fortunately, things don't always work out as planned. We're going to have to pull the head on this one, so we'll continue this project at a later date. And as always, I appreciate everybody watching. I will see you next time. Later. Look at Jim stirring it up over here with the 48 Tierra. Going home.